Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Farts Garage. Wanna, just want to say I appreciate everybody who follows along, subscribes and likes my videos. I appreciate you guys following my journey. We had a great time this last weekend at the truck show. It's called uh, uh, C10s at the River in uh, Cressy, California. It was a great show. Met a lot of cool people. We got to actually meet some old friends and uh, give me some inspiration on continuing my uh, journey with my restoration. So anyways, uh, before I get started, today we're gonna be painting some, uh, um, some red on the hood and the top of the cab and stuff and the outside. And to do that, I got this new gun Okay, that I saw another YouTuber uh, review. Shout out to uh, Far Away for reviewing this gun. And I went ahead and bought it. So now let's see if it works just as good as for me as it did for him. <laughs> so let me show you what we got. All right. So what we got here is the Inocraft, Enocraft, I don't know how you pronounce it, but that's it. The Drizzle D1. <clears throat> and it's a low volume, low pressure air, air gun. Okay. And it's got all these instructions on the outside, safety tips. And it tells you what it comes with. Picture of the gun. You know supposed to be a good starter gun so let's see what we got okay so right off the bat you got your instructions your user manual and stuff like that let's see what else it comes with it. so aside from the user manual <clears throat> you got this little quick chart you know that it's a starter startup guide okay and it shows you how to clean your gun how to take it apart how to set it up it tells you all the components to the gun okay it also has got a nozzle size recommendation for some of us like me that I was still learning it's like what size needle do I use for what type of paint or primer or clear and it tells you right here you know for like a sealant you know you can use a 1.8 to a 2.5 for primer 1.4 through a 1.8 your intermediate coat 1.3 to 1.6 clear coat 1.2 to 1.4 base coat 1.4s and so on so anyways and it shows you how to start it up it even gives you a little guide on what to look for you know when you set your your fan and just a bunch of little quick tips on on the use of your gun okay so right off the top okay we have let's just start right here with this okay you got an inline water catch filter okay so nice and actual glass no it's just hard plastic but it's very well constructed very thick very strong you got a little release valve there to let the water out very cool very cool set that aside you got it's got its own regulator okay I like the finish on this. It's like a gunmetal finish. It's got a nice little gray gunmetal finish. You got your adjuster there to let your air in and out. Your uh, pressure uh, PSIs and all that on there. Okay. And then you've got your gun. Ooh -wee. Look at that. Very light. Okay, it's got a 1.3 on there right now. I don't know if you can see it. 
But uh, anyways, and it's got the double air holes, which is good because uh, it's supposed to put out better atomizing and stuff. You got your fan adjustment up here on top. You got your uh, uh, volume for your needle right there, your air, set up your regulator there. It's got that gunmetal finish on there. Very smooth. It's got like a little, like the feel of a, 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 a flat paint. You know, just not, it's not like chrome smooth and it feels, you know, kind of give you a good grip on it. Okay. And it's got the little hook so you can hang it to store it. Okay. And, and get this. Let me see if I can get it. See that little, those little gauge right there? Yeah. On the quick start, it tells you where to set that, you know, where to set the needle. You can use use that gauge right there. Okay. Let me see if you can get a better look at it. See that gauge? Yeah. You turn it and you can set it for the depth and you know how much volume, how much uh, paint you want to release. That's a trip, but that's not the way I set mine anyway. So anyway, let's go to the next thing. Pull this out of here. So underneath there, right off the bat, you got your tool kit, and a couple of brushes, and your wrench. Okay, very cool. Some Teflon tape. Piece of foam. <laughs> and then you got your cup. And it's your basic uh, plastic cup. Okay. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use these disposables. All right. And then you got whatever this is. Some little uh, log type card so you can log in I guess how many hours or times that you've used it or whatever I don't know set that aside now you got this cool little hard plastic case it's like a little toolbox looks like open it up ah there you go two more needle uh size needles and stuff. You got all, all everything you need here for them. I can get it out. This one here is a 1.7. Okay. Right there, 1.7. The other one's a 1.5. So you got a 1.7 and a 1.5 and a 1.3. You got all the three basic needles. Okay, one there. Let's see what size this one is here. Right there. I don't know if it'll. There, oh, right there. 1.7. So this is the 1.7 needle. Okay, that's cool. So you got three needles along with this set. Okay. And then, if I can get it out, this is your 1.5. Okay. A lot of oil on it make sure you clean them before you use them don't want to get that oil all over in your paint got a little adapter cap looks like uh -huh. okay yeah two little filters which i never use but cool to have looks like a hose connector adapter i don't know something like that I wonder if that goes in there like that. Probably not. But uh, anyways, that's there. <laughs> For whatever reason, I'll have to look at the manual to see what it says. And then you got a cup adapter. And like I said, that's why I'm gonna be using, I've never used disposable, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. And uh, See how how 
how good it works. So anyways, there you have it. This is the Ino, Inocraft Dristol. Okay. D1. It's a low volume, low pressure gun. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up. I'm going to go ahead and change this to the 1.5. And then we're going to go ahead and get my stuff ready and we'll get the painting. So I'll bring you right back when I get ready to start. Okay?
Okay, everybody. So, we went ahead and did the review on the, what's it called again? The Drizzle D1. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Spray gun. I went ahead and used it. And let me tell you, that thing, I felt like a professional. For my very first paint job ever, I felt like I was a pro using this thing. This thing shot so good, it put out a lot of paint, you know. And it felt good. I had no problems whatsoever with it. It sprayed great. It was easy to adjust for different, you know, fans and stuff like that and different temperature. And not, oh, come on, Fernando. Uh, air pressures. <laughs> It's been a long day, so, you know. But anyways, Top Gun, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> the Drizzle D1, great gun. It worked flawlessly for me. I mean, and I'm a beginner, okay? And, it, and I felt like a professional using it, so, yeah. Awesome. So, anyways, let's go ahead and show you Okay, so I'm inside the booth now, and wouldn't you know it though, the one day that I'm going to spray, okay, and the wind is insane. I mean, it wants to, thank God I got the sandbags down because it would have blown the, 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 my canopy over easy, you know. And as it is, I got to walk around it and retape it and make sure it's sturdy so the wind don't blow it over onto my truck. But anyways, let me turn the camera around and show you how we did. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get a good corner shot of this. Here we go. There it is, painted red today. It's not flawless, okay? Like I said, I'm a beginner. It's my very first time. I'm painting out in the, in the driveway, okay? Underneath a canopy, look at this. This is one of those pop-up tent party tents, okay? And look at the way the wind's just blowing the heck out of it. Yeah, that's what I had to work with, okay? It's insane, but you know what? With that drizzle, drizzle or drizzle gun, it went great. Look at this. The orange peel is almost like factory, man. This is three coats of single stage. Performance Red from Summit Racing. Okay. Got a little bit of dirt because, of course, you know, like I said, it's blowing out, blowing wind through, and, you know, like crazy and all kinds of stuff is going through. I do have some uh, touch-ups I got to do, like right here. My taping didn't work out very good. Here, I missed it and I got primer there. Little things that I could do with the brush. I mean, really, like I said, it's not a show truck but it feels nice to be clean. Look at that. Okay, like here, got a little bit of paint there. There, my taping's not that great, but I can touch that up, okay? Like I said, I'm not professional, I'm just cleaning it up. Right there, okay? Got a run right there. I got a big run right there. Look at that. What do you guys think, huh? Not bad for my very first time ever. Look at this. Spraying single stage. Look at that. Okay. City workers are mowing the lawns now. So, ignore the lawnmower out there. I got a major run right there. Oh well, life goes on. My cowl pieces, corners. Look at that. Man, does that feel good. Minimal orange peel, no runs. That gun, I'm telling you, that gun is amazing. Shout out to Far Away for doing the re review on that. All right. 
Hold on, let me. Anyway, oh my God, there they come again. Anyways, so once again, the Enocraft Drizzle D1. There you have it, guys. This thing was, for me, being my first time and not being a professional, I have never painted a vehicle in my life and I'm winging it. This thing made me look like a professional. So anyways, I just want to say thanks to everybody who keeps following me, to my subscribers, to every, even if you don't like my stuff, you know, and you take a look, that'd be cool, you know. But uh, anyways, thanks for following me and thanks for subscribing and I appreciate it. It really helps a lot. And uh, y'all have a great rest of your day. I'm going to go have me some lunch and get on out of here. And you guys, uh, we'll see you next time. God bless.